Hello Capricorn, hope you're doing well. Welcome to my channel, Pisces Spirit Moon. Thanks for dropping by. Let's see what messages we have for you, okay? Well, actually, they have for you. I'm just a messenger. Means I'm not taking any responsibility. Okay. Capricorn, if you like how I read, <clears throat> excuse me, and you would like to book a personal reading with me, all my contact info is in the description box down below. Okay. Also, if you would like to support my channel and what I do, I do accept donations. So if you're in the financial position to do so, that would be truly appreciated. You can also see that in the description box uh, down below. Messages for Capricorn, please. Capricorn, keep in mind that my readings are general and they're timeless. So just take what resonates makes sense to you okay don't try to fit or force anything don't go around making things up just because i said them okay not everybody's going through the same things at the same time i gotta feel it also if you uh, you can click the like, subscribe buttons. That would be also very, very appreciated. And uh, that helps my channel grow. And uh, also, if you could comment, um, even just a hello, that would be nice. That also helps my, my channel with all this metrics and whatever the way it works. Okay, Capricorn, if you are familiar with Tarot and you pick up a different message than what I pick up and you feel like commenting, uh, please, by all means, go ahead, okay? This is a community and I, I truly believe that there's always someone who could benefit from another point of view, okay? You could be probably helping somebody else, okay? I think this is how sometimes things work. All right, Capricorn. The heart of the matter or what this reading is about is having victory, wanting or having that victory, okay? I'm going to lay all the cards first down and then we'll see what we have. I'll just give you a very quick, uh, brief description of each one as they come out. What's crossing you or challenging you is the Nine of Cups. It's that sense of self-fulfillment, but it's a blockage. You probably maybe just about starting to tap into it, okay? We don't know yet. At your conscious level, or what's crowning you, or what you clearly see, it's the Queen of Pentacles. At your subconscious level, or what's Below you, or you probably don't want, don't see, or don't want to see, it's the Nine of Pentacles. It's a lot of self value that I see here. 
don't think this is dealing with someone else. In your recent past, and what's probably pushing you through this energy, is the Four of Pentacles. It's probably holding on too tight to something and not wanting to let go. But you probably are already. And I think this is a thought. In your near future, or where you're headed to, it's the Three of Swords. The way I see this, this is healing. Healing something that you didn't want to let go of. The way you see yourself and how you will probably be taking action in this situation is the lover's card. Strong Gemini. That's good. I think this is internal balance mostly. I don't think this is a relationship. Because this is how you see yourself. This is you, just you, not with someone else. Your external environment or the energy that surrounds you, sometimes it's even the energy that the divine works around with us. It's the Seven of Cups, options, but there could be also confusion. We'll see in your hopes and fears it's the empress yes this is uh, internal energy mostly on you on yourself <clears throat> your outcome or advice as I usually like to take it Morris advice it's the seven of pentacles putting that hard time effort to see things come into fruition this is advice bottom of the deck two of pentacles juggling balancing Emotions, tasks, finances. Let's see what we have here. Capricorn, Capricorn. What do we have here? You know, it's kind of nice because uh, your card is the devil. And it's identical to the lover's card. Just the difference is that the devil card... Instead of an angel, well, the devil is also an angel. Lucifer was an a the fallen angel. But both have an angel. One is the devil, one is, I believe, I'm not sure if it's Michael. But both cards have Adam and Eve, a representation of both of them. But in the devil card, they're both chained and bounded which is toxic energy. And here, they're not, they're free. Okay, so it's nice. It's like that devil card, but the other way around. Capricorn, something in your past you didn't want to let go of. We're holding on too tight to it. This could have been, it's an idea, it's something. It's a sense of, I think you were expecting something one way and you somehow wanted it to be like that. And I think you're starting to release that. I think
think you're starting to work more on yourself. Starting to see yourself value, who you really are. You might feel a little lonely. But it's part of the process because you have to have this alone time in a way. Even if you're surrounded by people, you might feel alone. And it's okay because you're starting to work within yourself. But this is helping you feel more abundant. You're becoming more aware of your surroundings. I think you're connecting more with nature. There is this sense of uh, wanting victory, but this is within yourself. Yes, because we have the nine of cups as the blockage. So you want to be victorious with your own feelings. So you can turn it this way up. What you don't see, and it's your subconscious, and it's, I think, what strongly the universe wants you to somehow see more clearly is that you are. The Nine of Pentacles is my pre-Empress card. She's very abundant. She knows her worth. She's surrounded by nature. Okay, she's starting to listen to her intuition. They want you to, to listen to more to your intuition. Okay. That hawk that's perched on her arm has a hood. So the hawk cannot see properly right now. If you take that hood off, the hawk will be able to see things more clearly. That's your intuition. You have to do the same thing with your intuition. Once you do that, once you take that hood of the hawk by understanding who you really are, by accepting your true self value, you're going to start having a bird's eye view of the whole landscape. Can start seeing things at a deeper in a deeper way. Now, what caught my eye is that this is in your subconscious, and I said she's my pre-empress card. In your hopes and fears, we have the empress. So you're hoping somehow to evolve to this. I'm not sure if you're really aware of this, okay? But it's, I get a feeling that you're really wanting. You're working hard within yourself to get to this level. And I'm pretty, I'm pretty damn sure you will, okay? But you have to start listening to your intuition. And healing something from your past that you didn't want to let go. I don't, I'm not sure still what it is, if it's a thought or something physical, could be in somebody, but you had to let go. Okay? 
and you have to you're starting off into a new healing process. For some of you, this could be a spiritual awakening. It's just the third spiritual awakening in a row that I get from my readings today. I don't know what's going on, but some heavy duty stuff is going on up there right now for a lot of people. The way you see yourself is this energy. It's, you're being balanced. Your divine masculine and feminine are getting balanced. And you're letting the universe, you're letting God, you're letting your spirit guides help you. You're letting them guide you. You're surrendering. The energy around you, I get a little bit of confusion here. It could be emotional confusion, okay? But I also get the... Keep your eyes on the prize in the sense of working on yourself. Don't let other things distract you. Don't let other things get on the way, okay? Keep working on yourself. It seems that this man has to go through different cups until he reaches that higher cup. It's like opening doors. No, it's not this. Oh, no, it's not that. Uh, eh, you know, kind of like that until you find the right. It's like a trial and error energy. And I think the universe is making you making you go through this as part of your lesson and for you to learn to master your intuition. Okay. All right, Capricorn. Interesting. You are being tested somehow. It's not a test, it's more like a training program. So in your hopes and fears is reaching that level, okay? Being more grounded, being more connected to nature, being more loving, caring, And it's very spiritual. Very strong divine feminine energy here. Doesn't matter if you're a male or female, okay? Well, you'll get there. If you just release the past, if you just release the thoughts of what of, what if, could if, could of, all of that, just confusing. Confusing like also the Son of Cups, okay, because for some of you, that could be, could be that energy. The outcome or advice is this Seven of Pentacles, is the universe literally telling you, put your hard work on yourself. Invest on yourself. It's going to be a long journey. But be patient. Be patient with yourself. Okay? Healing is also a long process that we have to go through. 
but they want you to, to really invest your time and your energy on yourself before you, before you try to invest in other things. Okay? Just focus on you for, for the moment. Because I get a sense that you are being somehow promoted. The two of pentacles in the bottom of the deck is balancing. It's juggling. It's it's balancing act. You're learning to do to do that. You might be you might feel trapped in a infinite loop. Okay? It's normal, it's okay. It's not forever. But what can I say? Congratulations, you'll get there. You're getting there, actually. You're being guided to do so. Just let go and uh, you'll have victory. And uh, if Spiritual growth is what you were looking for at this moment in your life. That's what you're getting. Okay. I think some of you asked for this somehow. And the divine is giving it to you. Because I think uh, they've seen some of the hard work that you have already put in yourself in the past. All right, Capricorn. Well, I think I'm going to leave it there for you. Okay. Capricorn, I hope this reading helps you. I really do. And I wish you all the strength and all the best to, to go through the, through this path. What can I say? Welcome. Okay. All right, Capricorn. I hope to see you next time. Stay safe, stay happy, and stay very blessed. Goodbye, Capricorn.